the federal government can't create jobs, right? It never has, unless it takes over the whole system and we become a totalitarian country. But in the capitalistic system that we have, the private sector creates jobs. And the government can incentivize that, can make it easier for corporations and small businesses like mine to operate. But the Biden administration is doing the opposite, making it harder, taxing business more. So this is not going to end well. And that's why I, I noticed uh, with some irony that Joe Biden went down to see Jimmy Carter because Jimmy Carter destroyed the American economy from 1976 to 1980. He destroyed it. And I'm going to predict right now that will happen now to the Biden administration, not right away, because the COVID spending will elevate the economy for a few months. But I have a story later on that's going to back up what I say. All right. So Donald Trump, as you know, as we reported yesterday, is still banned from Facebook and Twitter and Instagram. Um, he did put up his own um, social media site. The account name is the desk of Donald J. Trump at DJ T desk. That's the Twitter handle. But they ban that now. All right. Because they see that it's a kind of a ruse. It's, it's really Donald Trump trying to get back on using his pack. But there shouldn't be a ban at all. And Americans should be very outraged. If you, even if you don't like Donald Trump, this is the first step to totalitarianism when you start to ban freedom of speech and opposing points of view. All right. So everybody should be crazed about it. Nobody is. They're happy that Trump's not on. Um, so the censorship, I, I asked my crack staff, and it is a good staff, I have to say, find me one conservative group or a pundit on television or newspaper columns who has called for censoring speech in any way. Find me somebody. We can't do it. It doesn't exist. Now, there have been people that call for boycotts, but it's usually a very targeted something. Some company does something heinous, that kind of thing. But across the board, suppression of speech, there isn't one conservative that we know of in this entire country that's doing that. A hundred percent of it is on the progressive left. And again, independent minded Americans, people who aren't tied into ideology should be like, what is this? Now, have you heard President Biden speak out against this? He has not. He has not. If I were President Biden, I would ask Facebook to lift the suspension of Donald Trump now. And if I were Nancy Pelosi and um, Chuck Schumer, the heads of the House and Senate, I'd get legislation up and running. We can't have this, not in this country, if we want to retain our freedom. But the problem is that the progressive left doesn't want to retain freedom. They don't like freedom. Freedom is racist. That's what's led to all of this horrible, horrible things. We don't, they don't want that. They just want to run the show. We'll run it. We don't need this freedom thing. We don't need the amendment thing, the Bill of Rights thing. No, we're, we'll run it. We'll run everything. And if you don't like it, then we'll get rid of you or we'll silence you. It's almost like the mob <laughs> in a way. Now, there's an easy solution to people posting irresponsible things on Twitter or Facebook or wherever. If it's illegal or immoral in the sense that it's showing you, uh, I, I picked up one today. It says the photo has been deleted because it shows mature content that is graphic. So somebody posts porn pornography on one of these social media and they knocked it out. That's fine. And if it's criminal, if it's threatening, uh, you knock right out. But you say, this is why we're doing it. Here are the standards. Now, in political speech, you can say that Donald Trump incited the Capitol riot. You can say that. It hasn't been proven beyond any reasonable doubt. I don't believe he did it myself, and I've analyzed it. You can say Black Lives Matter incited violence against police by chanting this. Roll the tape. All right, so pigs in the blanket fry them like bacon. 
That was on Twitter and Facebook and Instagram and all of them. Not censored. Black Lives Matter, not censored. Nope. Now, that's a much stronger call of violence than anything Donald Trump did. It's a fact. It's a fact. So we know, we know that the media companies lean left in a huge way, that most of their employees are progressive out in Silicon Valley. We know all that. Those are facts. So if I'm a congressperson, I'm sitting there, I go, wait, wait. We have new technology that has changed the way we communicate to each other. It used to be the telephone, right? Nobody could intrude on the telephone. We have laws protecting that you can't get eavesdropped on. you got to get a warrant. There are laws protecting your communication on telephone. There are no laws on social media. It's up to them. It's up to those companies. If they don't like Trump, we're not going to hear from them. Black Lives Matter, well, we like them. So pigs in a blanket fry them like bacon. Yeah, it's okay. They're pigs. Fellow Americans, I am concerned about the U.S. dollar. Huge debt, as you know. Will it stay as the world's reserve currency? That's why now more than ever, I recommend you diversify with gold and silver. And the only company I recommend and have for years is American Hartford Gold. I trust them. I've personally done business with them. They sell physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your IRA. And they make it very easy. So call them right now. Make sure you tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you, and they will give you up to $2,500 of free silver on your first order. Since I have been recommending American Hartford Gold, gold shot up more than 40%. Silver, more than 60%. So don't wait. Call them now. 866-501-5201. 866-501-5201. Or text Bill to 65532. Again, that's 866-501-5201 or text Bill to 65532. Bill O'Reilly here. Thank you for watching this video and make sure you subscribe to the First TV YouTube page. Just hit the big red subscribe button below and you'll get clips and highlights of my program, The No Spin News, every single day. We'll see you soon.